boop a doop, boop a doop, boop a doop, boop boop a doop. Moving right along, going to the next one. Here I go. It's episode three, twenty-two with John Taylor. <laughs> but my arms feel like they're filled with lead pudding, and that's not very delicious. Don't worry about that bridge when we burn it. Right now, I'm a bit polite. I'm very very curious. Oh, perfect. 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 <laughs> I like old. I like old dad. I like old dad. Like <laughs> I like old dad. <laughs> I like old. <laughs> As the rightful king, I only possess the qualities necessary to lead. I. That's only if, I possess, not I only possess. I don't have any other qualities. <laughs> <laughs> There's that keen, elven intellect at work. But how? No, it's quite simple. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> He's avenging your death by attacking a sling giant like a hobo on a baked potato. Who's with you in potato? I'm hungry. <laughs> it's hungry when I'm sad. <laughs> I'm so late. That's okay, cause I have script. No, no, no. Say something that utilizes exclusive rapid exothermic reactions. Like those found in our chemical. You know what? I did this line. Use that one. I've done this one. Use that. I don't care. Fuck you. <laughs> Watch out! Your first proclamation is fighter bee leader. Let's do that. Yep, yep, you know, Fire and I have superior numbers. We could overthrow your demented regime easily. We could do this one of two. Regime, regime. Who is my regime? I was leaving you again. Well, it's not right that badly. I need a full heart version of Spider Bar. I need people to have Spider Bar. That'd be awesome. Let's start again. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going to go and talk with. Giant. Hello, I'm Fighter, and I say you should watch 8 Bit Theater Chaos because it rocks. I mean, I'm actually Black Belt. God dang it, someone switched my name tags. Wow, I <laughs> It's not you, baby. It's your knockers. I know those rooms are supposed to emphasize the chase modesty, but damn, girl. Uh, damn, damn! Zombie room, dude! Zombie booby! <laughs> <laughs> I liked it better when you guys were just blindly doing my stuff. That's my Sonic Alive. Um, Garden Chase again. And you guys, you guys have more fun blindly following my stuff. Okay, you're not this Brian Clevenger, the best web comic ever. And in this place, instituting the R.O. God, the I.R.O. <laughs> <laughs> and in its place. When Astos had me poisoned. Into the mic at the most inconvenient time. Okay, very good. Sorry, the king of Elfman had to answer some AOL well, list of messenger AI. Uh... Right, mage, can I go easy? Red? What just happened? <laughs> How about we call that plan B? B! I was gonna say plan A. <laughs> <laughs> Am I correct to assume this rattle and sentry talk contradiction quite <laughs> <laughs> if elves and dwarves get along so famously, then isn't it dangerous for us? Sure is. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. That is mutually exclusive. Batman has the extensive support network. But Doom has neither of his resources into a lab. What if they bad on the other area? Lab is good too. Some sort of decayed urban environment, which is cool. <laughs> which is cool. <laughs> Yeah. You mean ape lover, you word a man, sir? That's not dwarfish! Yes, you are clearly my countryman. I shall continue the beer, Jim. Crunchyman, I sound like You are clearly my crunchyman. <laughs> Reports are still coming in from the other lands, but it seems that dwarf land has been fallen. No, I'm has fallen over. <laughs> not terribly sweeter at all, merciful. Whoa, are all humans born this way? And then. 
Oh, what it says. <laughs> Which means pretty much, yeah. I'm probably scaring my neighbors at this point. Let's take a shortcut through Elfland, he said. It's nice this time of wit. We? Yes, indeed. Well, thanks, since it seems your people have something to do with this night creature, is it? You can't be near me, I can't be near me, I can't be near me, I can't be Black Mage of Dwarf Black! <laughs> well, Black Mage of Dwarf Black! I'm the Black Mage of Dwarf Land! Yeah! <laughs> It feeds upon the living, for it is not actually alive. Like there's anathema to it. It was the perfect one. Oh, like oh, I know! It is it a it? night creature? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I feel like. It feels like his bullet point is yeah. this kind of thing. I don't yeah. really have to read it in a way that he's not going to put it. Being fast. Yeah. It's going to have even if it's going to be fast. It's going to be just about possible. I read it. <laughs> yes. Costumes are what these are. And they are great. They are great! That's <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> cool. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what do you mean? You know what we should also do for a laugh? Make it a cock <laughs> Okay, let's jump in. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a great meme. Yeah, find everybody else's characters in one episode as well. Okay, new plan. First, you two shuts up. And some other. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really practice bleeding to death with six dumb. Six dumb. Six, six dumb. Six dumb. Six dumb. Practice bleeding to death with six dumb. You're bleeding out of six dumb. I was born ready. <laughs> that made me. <laughs> that made my mental. <laughs> mental. Yes, exactly. Years of exposure, a fighter's Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do that to him sometimes. It's water darken. <laughs> He'll snap out of it soon, usually by way of insatiable. Where are these tracks? <laughs> <laughs> He'll snap out of it soon, then usually by where are these tracks? <laughs> He'll snap out of it soon, usually by way of an insatiable homicidal frenzy, but what you gonna do about it? Wood and steak. Wood in steak. Ah! I think! <laughs> <laughs> Fight up. Uh, meat shield is otherwise occupied. I just need two cars to be impaled and set on back. Gee! Gee! Just I do it like that? No. <laughs> I just need two cars to be... You set. Whatever you like. <laughs> we knew We knew We knew I told you ah! okay, Now I'm new to We need only call upon the mightiest snake in all the land. Cupboard man! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Fight to yeah. say. When your mind is a fuck. When your mind is a fuck. <laughs> We are not going to have a theme song, this RM. Right. Let me do yours before you, de before you decide. Before you die again. <laughs> Wait, you have to write this before you Let die. Me. me. Meanwhile. Me. 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 Meanwhile. Maybe if the board game you chose was less. Oh, man, this is. Alright, hang on a second. <laughs> Maybe if the board game you chose was less like a dissertation on hyperdimensional physics and more like a board game, it wouldn't have swallowed all the pieces and dice into the singularity of its madness. Wow, anyone else try to say that natural? Try to say that fucking line like natural. I dare you, it's not gonna happen. Let's do it again. There is but one more lesson for you to hear. <laughs> <laughs> what, that's it? You told us that on our first day of our... <laughs> Why is that always annoying that everyone makes? There is nothing for you! Fuck. There is nothing for you to fuck. <laughs> so go! <laughs> Not pumping my leg. <laughs> Short order cook. Oh. Yeah. Short order cook! Awesome. <laughs> 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 and so.
something. <laughs> You've been per- <laughs> Sorry. Path created. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Ain't that your mind. <laughs> no, you'd be surprised what Calidus has done for us so far. At least we got the earth up. Maybe it's Rick. It's Rick. You're the murderer. I'm Chris Monkey, then he's alive. <laughs> ah, yes. The year out that the gem I sealed my soul into was the very orb itself. Oh, please, we do have a bit of it. again. All we have to do is defeat Lit. Yeah, funny that. <laughs> Dickhead. Xbox 360 Elite, go big! <laughs> Do it, going big. Big as a verb. Now we're gonna do it. Show the year! Show the year! Show the year as a verb! <laughs> Your mummy's a verb! Mr. I'm... B! Hello, mate. <laughs> you are not making my job any easier. <laughs> you don't get paid in my job. You're <laughs> <laughs> paying you, my friend! <laughs> no, when we do our, when we do yeah. our own thing, we get paid. Yes, I'm sure. We need to start you developing real famous, and we have ro rooster teeth style offices. You'll get paid. Of, 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 of. Oh, I'll go. I'll go. What's that word again? Oh, Why is it your brand of oh, obfuscation? Obfuscation. Obfuscation. Though the Earth Orb is disputed among the nations of dwarf and elf, it is my declaration here today that it is an item of. Of such power and utility to all the <laughs> all the happy little yeah. elves. Be they, be they, be they. <laughs> <laughs> be they elfin. <laughs> be they elfin or imperial. <laughs> Lord in the attack. Go. Desu, desu, desu. Um. <laughs> With the power vested in me as sovereign representative, the laughter. With the power vested in me, I pronounce you. You suck. <laughs> <clears throat> With the power vested in me as the sovereign representative of the nation of Outland, known throughout the world for his for his conversation. Wendy, I can fly. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> 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 Sword Stabby Batman! Yar! Damn it! Sorry. Nobody knows what it's like to be Batman! Batman. <laughs> Sword Stabby Batman! Ah, uh, Batman! Hey, stuck in my brain. <laughs> hey, stuck in my brain. <laughs> Phase one, complete. Phase two, toss. Okay! <laughs> <All right. laughs> Next! <laughs> well, no, that's done. No, not next. For about three seconds. At this point, perhaps if you possess e power, e power, fucking hell. <laughs> but you're the same frail flesh sacks you were when you. No, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, Black Mage, you came back from heaven, which is clearly where a hero of light warrior like status would go after death. You come back to your friends. It's funny because you did a different blah, 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 this time and it still ended on the yeah. same notes book. <laughs> 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 oh, worse. Oh, sorry. I was waiting for someone to do their lines in there. Oh, womanly rage! Oh, my god, oh, my god! <laughs> Whatever he says. <laughs> I bet in heaven they let you eat cookies for breakfast every day. Yes. Yes! Yes! What? 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 Sounds like twat now. I was thinking, since I'm no longer bound by the chains of misery, it's got the chains of misery. Yep, I'll do it. It's looking pretty sweet. I've got all the minions, the power of my back and call, and the power to write, write, not write, the power to write. <laughs> this season of 8 Bit Theater Chaos is brought to you by Pineapples. Mmm, yay! Pineapples.
Dinner's on, boys. I made plenty for every one. Huh. I see my son has been beaten and stabbed to death with a large piece of furniture. Shucks. And judging by the tattered rags over there, my husband appears to have fallen through a fissure in the earth. It goes to the worst place in the whole world. Nah, even worse than Alabama, but thanks for asking. Well, this horrible travesty could only be made worse by letting a delicious meatloaf dinner go to waste. Come on inside. I'll alert the authorities so they can do something about the nasty hell pothole you boys made. See you later. <laughs> this meatloaf is great. Aren't you glad you came back to the mortar realm so you could enjoy this stuff, Dan? When I was the hell king, we'd feed some of the sun It was like eating murder and marinated in sin. Yes. Well, I like to put a touch of chili powder in the meat. You know, to give it that extra little kick. That's... let's just say. South Park Cure Albums back. What have we here? Look at those Cure Albums. No emotionally balanced healthy person would listen to that. This is obviously our pal. That's enough evidence for me. Take them away, boys. Boys? There's only one here. Uh, okay. So pretty for jail. Quite jelly. That was nice of Mrs. Von Vampire. You'd think she'd want to kill us and destroy everything we've ever worked for after we brutally murdered our son, banished her husband to hell, and tore up the driveway. If there's one thing I've learned about women, it's that they don't like me. What does that have to do with anything? I'm just lonely as all. Not me. I've got the earth orb to keep me warm. What are we going to do with that? Now that Lich isn't poisoning it with his soul, we've stopped encroaching her throat. So, I'm going to keep it in my bag of Lich now. That's an secretary. That looks just like the one I used to have. No, it doesn't. Hmm. This is all I can't seem to get the orb to do. But that's impossible. Those bags have infinite carrying capacity. Well, I've been busy. Hey, didn't we find out a while ago that your whole purpose was stating stuff was to get cash for the medicine for your dad's illness, which you have already killed? Yeah, so... So she, you know, like stealing stuff. You realize that we do not live in a democracy. Yeah. And even if we did, light warriors are appointed by fate and not elected by people. That's certainly possible, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm sure there are more expensive ways to fail, but I doubt they'd be as monumental, humiliating, or public as this. Yeah, I think this will get the word out. It's a completely ineffectual statement that makes no sense on a variety of levels, if any. Even so, the message is clear. What message is that? We don't like the Light Warriors, something like that. Big liked it. John Johnson were actually on the spot and was action for Steve here speaking live with the Light Warriors. What is your reaction to the new negative ad campaign for the Dark Warrior Party? What do you... do we have news media? If the Dark Warriors are attempting to link Light activity to the recent acts of terrorism. I'll fill this one. Though our means may be questionable, perhaps deplorable, we are perpetrating them against other nations. And in so doing, are we truly sons of Cronaria? Old words, considering the allegation that some of the Light Warriors are elven. If that were true, then we'd have inherent elven superiority on our side, be the unopposed rulers of your backwater excuse for a nation by now. What Mr. McEwen wins meant is that it's just Dark Warrior rhetoric to confuse the public by obscuring the real issues. The economy, unemployment, recent terrorist activities by dangerous center groups such as ourselves, those are the topics we should be discussing. And how would the Light Warriors deal with these problems? Murder. I call them my environment solution. Basically, I'm given license to kill and it solves all of my problems. You're not helping, DM. I go for him. I can't believe the nerve of that anger guy. Still, you didn't have to kill him. Hey, I'm waiting until the cameras are turned off. You ask me, there's a crap load of control there. Not immediately indulging in murder isn't a sign of self-control. It's a sign of, you know, what is it? Sanity. Now you're being silly. I know the difference between right and wrong. I just don't care. Let me handle this. What do you want? This thing has eyes brain. Speaking of you is a waste of his valuable time. And I'm dying at first. Can't drink sand. Get me? We're in a desert? Go play. So, what are you? What's your motivation? I thought these were the fortunes to stay. I woke up there and I'm in the rain. I go, I'm going to show me. Oh, what twisted threats of fate must have conspired against your poor and human heathen soul. Tell us your tale of woe, fallen beast. Some jackass wizard did it. Wow. Let me get on the brain of these things. Maybe it's not me, but I do have a life. I'm not going to be silent about this issue. Or ignore me. 
Orc Zombie. That's lazy. You can't combine two armor laser monster types and expect it to believe a third. Wholly unique monster type is the result. I am an orc, I'm undead, and I call you for the brains of a man. I don't know about you, but where I come from, orc land didn't get me. That spells out zombie. I'm sorry, no, I won't take it. If we accept orc zombies, then we have to get to all kinds of crap. What's next? Sentinel dragons? How about demon fairies? I'm so precious, I'm only damned on the inside. <laughs> Maybe buffalo elves. I'm as confused about this as you. Heck, why not whale of all you? Give me back my DD! I'm trying to make a stand, but plausible monsters are everywhere. Who's with me? I've been studying monster biology in my spare time, and I have to say it's highly unlikely any of them could actually exist. Okay, remember that part where you weren't talking? Let's do that again. Seriously, guys, I've got appointments in this taxi. Am I going to speak on your brain, or do I have to kill you for you? Sorry, Mr. Old Zombie, they're just talking to set you up for the sneak attack! Yeah, I'll oh, no, man. I'm undead, so I don't have parts that can be considered as anything like vital, so that didn't work at all. Fine, plan B it is then. We have plan B. Oh, that's great. I don't suppose you want to divulge your weakness. No, that won't be happening. Besides, I know you. Oh, you're a leader. Why do you believe that's only a room? Meanwhile, elsewhere in the Dwarfin Mountain Range. I think we're missing someone. Uh, the escape spell probably overloaded. But it's a group teleport. The dynamics of the spell don't care if there's three or three hundred, so long as we are conceptually a group. Well, I'm sure we're better off. I mean, the Black Mage is okay. Secretly, I know we're better off. You forgot to do your little beefy whisper thing so we can hear you. Did I fight her? Did I really? I wonder what that was. Yeah, I could hear you. Did you fight her? Did you really? Did you? I... But... I think we're missing someone. <laughs> he had a time release teleport, like an antacid pill that can propel itself through time and space. I found out what zombies are weak against. Oh! Point blank annihilation. Now, I would've said healing magic, since it only makes sense that which would cure the living would hurt the undead. I see you guys have been busy recruiting nine other gentlemen into our midst. Wouldn't mind their dancing, or their prancing, but it's making me very dizzy. Uh, are you okay? Oh yes, Peachy, I'd say. Someone should really ask that phone, though. The incessant ringing is like some sort of loud ringing that won't, you know, go away. I don't hear any! Oh, he's dead. No, he just passed out. I'm never off! Ugh, God, why does my face feel like five miles of bad blood? So no, there aren't roads out here. Just mountain paths littered with many small jagged rocks. Plus, we've only gone about three, four miles, Pops. You're way off. You're dragging me to the next town to take care of my wounds, I'm a helper. I know this wasn't your idea. It doesn't involve chaining two dogs together and wielding them until I'm killed. Red Mage said we could call it candy. So you're doing this at the behest of... Beef, of course. Congratulations, you plenty here, much fucking Elven free. You're at the top of my death list now. You wait until we get to the end of the trail of my blood and I can make it efficient. Oh, don't you worry, Black Mage. I'll do it for you. No, nope, that's nothing. These roads are totally trapped with damn us all. Fucking as I do in writing implements of any kind, I'll edit it with my blade. My list! My precious death list! You know I've got a memory like a thing that lets water drain out of it while keeping back some of the original size. I can raise the herb to make sure I didn't skip anyone. I'm a helper! Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. You're dragging me to the next town to take care of my wounds, aren't you? I'm a helper! Your title comes to thank you, sir! That a fact. 
let me tell you a few things about our organization, kiddo. If I ask you for magical gems I can shove into my temple so I can finally utilize my latent psionic powers, then by golly, you're gonna give me the gems and perform the operation yourself. For the last time, that's custom jewelry. There's nothing magical about it other than perhaps how special it makes a little girl feel when she wears it and daydreams about being rich and bedewed and bedazzling. Damn it, man, what do you think I'm after? So these incredibly high level spells you're selling, but it's likely more than the cost of the paper they're written on. They're legit. Oh yes, Mordecai and spell of legit hands and skill. That's not a spell of legit hands, you say. That's bound to be a massage technique, huh, sir? White mage might be able to resist. Give me three. Yeah, hold on. You wouldn't happen to be affiliated with those other Akbar Ripple stores, would you? I can legally answer by saying I know of them. We stocked up on enough supplies to feed an army. That ought to hold us for a while. Well, now what do we do, hmm? I've used this group to fulfill my obligations again, so I see no further use for you and not else. No further use? Are you mad? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to solo at this level? What appears to be an even match could more accurately be described as do. If it means that much to you, then the group may escort me back to our land. I'm riding this experience train until they run out of rail, baby. What we really need is some sort of quest to keep together. I thought you hated us and would relish the opportunity to rid us from your life. Oh sure, that was the old black mage. You back from hell with infinite power like just kidding your mortal again by me. One rest until you make suffered in ways that have not yet had me to invent words to describe. And where black mage goes, fighter follows. So we're still a team. And where is fighter anyway? Can you guess the other 362 things I like about swords? What do you want? This isn't even a weapon shop! For the love of God, leave! Wherever he is, he's not being my problem. Well, fighter does not immediately jump into my field of view, so I must conclude he's not out there. Oh, busy mage, you cannot go to turn around. So I'll head back into town walking this way. I hate him so much, Blackbell. Hate can be an attractive force. And it's going to attract my hammer to his skull repeatedly at great velocities. In the meantime, we'll just have to take it up a notch. Come on. Flighteon, Megatron has stolen all the energon. We knew this day would come. I've looked everywhere for quite an hour, at least in several spots, and I'm still empty handed. Don't even ask the guy. Oh god, my precious organs, why? <laughs> eh, there's someone else. Just will ask him and then right off Captain Warren for good. I've got a few questions for you. Won't take more than a few star seconds. Excuse me, stranger. Oh, no problem. My kicking leg! I do apologize, sir. Oh. Oh. You're asking me how to reach Sada, the great sage, so you could complete your quest for fully destiny and save the world. I really find that hard to believe. Seriously, my leg! Ugh, fine. Cure. Wait a second, those are town folk don't have healing magic. Abort! Do you believe in fate or free will? Well, there's definitely forces at work to influence the course of our lives. Whether these forces can be ascribed to a divine will, a more esoteric concept such as fate, or merely the inevitable culmination of all previous events, I can't say. I do know this, however. Though we all end the same, it's the decisions we make on the way that make our lives unique. What about you? Oh, I believe in a free market. How's that work? Very well when you get to make the rules. It's not like you to ask about this sort of thing. Oh, everywhere I went this afternoon, I kept getting hints and signs that we should go see something or someone called Sada. Probably a coincidence. Best to just ignore it. Ah, oh, that's it. Final plan. You again. When I stab you, you stay stabbed, pal. Come on, we've got to go see Bada. He lives to the south or something, I think. Sada and the north? Like I said. Oh. It's a shame we never found fire. But we did find Vida. He was battling these giant things, though I know not what they were, as they were in disguise. Call me Spike Fight Wiki. Please, I've lost so much. Don't take this away from me. Not yet. We never found Vida, V. I'm right here. Lost to the end. And what an adventure I had. Versions of my new friends kept appearing and merging before my very eyes. They could even swap heads, which were themselves independently sentient as well. It was a beautiful nightmare of the surreal. Oh, them's my brain meats. Never found. Elsewhere! You made tremendous progress lately, Garland. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, co workers. Do you feel they are now giving you the respect you deserve? Oh, yes. Ever since I spearheaded this negative ad campaign against the Light Wars, they've seen what a capable leader I can be. He's not quite as stupid as I thought. And that your uh, difficulties were due to problems at home? Yes. Problems which have been solved. Garland. Yes, Doctor. Problems which have been solved. 
You have to be honest with me if these sessions are going to be of any use to you. I know, Doctor. Let's go through our affirmations. There's, There's no, no thing such thing as forest tips. There's no such thing as forest tips. There's no such thing as forest, forest tips. There's no such thing as forest tips. Oh, what are you worried about? You'll be just fine. I don't know, BM. I got a headache from the stabbing. That's perfectly normal for having a 10 inch blade lodged in your skull. In that case, let's move out! Hold up, hold up. We can't go into battle like this. Fighter needs to be healed up. But we dare not heal him without removing the blade. But we dare not remove the blade. And why is that again? Check it. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. That's enough. <coughs> I see your point. We'd be fools to throw that away. We could sell tickets. I think what Black Mage was demonstrating is that the blade is too close to his brain to risk removing it. I believe the Spider-Man song could go the other way. Repeat customers! If only White Mage was here. Where'd you go, anyway? They are going to Seaside if it's the last thing you do. Meanwhile, back at the Temple of Fiends. I must admit, this latest scheme of yours is genius. Yes, I'm an evil madman, you know. Yeah, and I'd ask where you put the real Garland, but I like you better. Oh, Drizzle, tis truly I, your evil overlord, and good buddy Garland, you crazy elf. You have yet to supply me with any supporting evidence. This current wave of competence only hurts your case. You're merely witness to the new revitalized Garland. I'm ready to vanquish my foes and rule the world with an iron, yet carrying fist. And to that end, I falsely labeled our hideout as a haven for the Light Warrior supporters. Those few who have not been swayed by my cutting media ploy will be drawn here to drown in our moat. The transformation is astounding. What happened to the simpering dolt who was afraid of imps? <laughs> That's silly. There's no such thing as forest dips. The next day... Good morrow, gentlemen. Why aren't you brain dead yet? Whatever you do mean, oh cherished comrade. Your brain was pierced with a sharp stabbing implant. I was going to add to it today, so it wouldn't look like an accident. Oh yeah, that was yesterday. This is today. I slept, it's cool. And? And now I'm better. Wait, what? No, this conversation is over. Aram, explain to me what happened to his stab wound. Quickly. In a way that won't result in your own mutilation. There is no denying the curative powers of a restful state. There are some traditions that ascribe mystical properties to proper medicine. Doggy regions and taking a nap are no match for a knife in the head. My hat. That's enough point to spend for now. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Strange things are afoot at the Circle Cave. Does it not bother anyone else that we were magically transported to this cave overnight? We have a saying where I come from. In your boorish, lackluster tongue, it would roughly translate, shut up and give me all your monies and fineries. Since I've already contractually insured the monies, I request the shut up. Yeah, the sooner we get here, the sooner we leave, the sooner I get away from the fighter. Don't rock the boat. Behold, weary travellers! You cross the threshold to the mysterious Circle Cave! What's so mysterious about it? Quite circular nature, my friend. What circle? That's the mystery, isn't it? The entrance is at best avoidable. The interior is a tube with an incline. It's just some crazy, homeless, crazy bum in a cave. And it's crazy, too. Oh, that may be, but I can do this! <laughs> My mind has been blown away! What's happening? My particles hurt. I don't know who's talking. Who is this guy? I, gentlemen, am Sarda. And that makes me the wizard who did it! Previously on 8 Bitter Chaos. I, gentlemen, am Sada. And that makes me the wizard who did it! So you're the one responsible for all the weird, nonsensical stuff that happens in our world, right? Yep. Why? I'm as old as magic and have ultimate power of creation. 
You don't think I get bored? You have all that, and this is what you do? Is there at least some as yet undisclosed profit? We used to have 36 hour days, but I keep them at 24 hours now just to make everyone hurry. So you're an omnipotent jackass. Well, I'm sure that's one way to characterize it. I must defend myself by saying that from my point of view, it's funny. Now I know what admiration feels like. I must learn from you, oh, Master of Jaggery. And you will, Black Mage. You will. All of you will learn from me in your own way. Yes, of course. They will learn what pain means. I know. Let's get to that first lesson already. There cannot be power without sacrifice. If the operations in there, dark gods have taught us anything, it's that. Over I go. That's not what I meant. Did I sacrifice? What I meant was... Oh, don't say another word. I'm so embarrassed. Then ritualistically prepare the body. No, again, you have misunderstood me. What's he doing with fire's eye? Oh, God! Those don't go. Black Mage, that's not going to... Excuse me. I need to make a fort check to the bathroom. Let us start over. Uh -oh. As I was saying before, there cannot be power without sacrifice. But one must be close to that which is sacrificed for it to have power. Done. Where's my power? We hit a stumbling block. Yeah, there's no more bodies within close proximity. No, by close, I meant that that which is sacrificed must mean something. Right. These husks are means to an end. Let's roll. I can tell this won't take a while. Let me turn off time so we can talk it out. 734 years, 8 months, 2 weeks, 5 days later in the blink of an eye. Like I said, they are means to an end. Let's try a different approach. You have to care about what is being sacrificed. Care? Some time later. I would love to make a sacrifice, but I don't have a single point to spare. I could not part with so much as a single item either. And each one is more important than the last. Silence, you rabble. I'm this close to finding a loophole where others may sacrifice for me. You just need to get in line. I've already made three sacrifices. Four of them count for Akro's reanimation. Hmm. Being sacrificed, that's gonna count as something. I demand a token of power as a show of good faith. Or it's one of these monkeys again. I could give up gum. There's gonna be at least, like, a thousand people in the world. I could make one kind of a sacrifice if I was motivated. <laughs> I didn't agree to give away whatever power I possessed as a sacrifice. There is such a thing as victims' rights. I believe I have precedent for sacrificial victims' rights. This isn't going to be one of those things that cast experience, is it? It's not like I rip memories from my mind when I walk into a store. So recalling. I have acted rashly. You aren't ready. That much is clear to me now. But I really like gum. Seriously, just a little now, like thought control or something. I just saw some ideas out there. I could make them You know what you boys need? It's more questy. Score! That sounds suspiciously like more work. Quests build character levels. I'm so disillusioned with evil right now. It is because you follow the path of darkness that you see no light. I thought human sacrifice and worshipping the old god was going to be a shortcut to power from beyond the earthly realm. The old god was a cryptastic lecture by an old guy who smells like wet ass and being pulled up in a stanky cave for a thousand years. On top of that, we've got to do another land quest. Look, we already didn't kill some princes, and we didn't destroy the world. I think we're tapped out with quest tolerance. You want a quest? How about you quest up a high tolerance for the pain of that to inflict? And where'd he go? Oh, I just held everything in this part of the universe except for Black Mage still for a fraction of a second. He was shifted right out of the cave. Since I locked all molecular motion, his particles were, of course, ripped away by air itself. But I made sure he survived despite the unbearable pain. Ugh. I think I'm crazy now. Wouldn't holding a portion of the universe still for any amount of time have horrible ramifications? I wouldn't be the wizard who did it if I stopped to think about consequences. Meanwhile, on a planet that is home to a race of super beings destined to one day conquer the universe and stamp out all life, some astronomers witness an unexpected supernova in a quiet part of the night sky. Because this other planet where they're about to discover an equation to unite all energy and life to a single entity of pure thought bliss? Yeah. And so the Light Warriors haven't been given another quest by Sada whose wisdom, if stated as a mathematical function, would be equal to infinity minus one, set out upon their most wisely given of quests. Go outside, see your friends, take this note with you. It will reveal all! Fire or... Am I the only one seeing a pattern here? 
You mean we are collecting the long lost engine cores for each of the Voltron lines so we can become defenders of the universe? They quested far and wide across the great plains and up great mountains and across the great seas until, at last, they approached the summit of Gorgu Volcano, the last known resting place of the famous fire orb. What's so important about this stupid fire orb anyway? According to my calculations, it's the conduit for all thermodynamic activity in the world. Without it, life as we know it ceases to be. Found a way inside. What, that's it? The end of all life? No contrived facts or anything? No revealing secret about one of the light warriors? Rotor Red Magic seeks the fire orb, and we believe it's the key to harnessing celestial power on a terrestrial plane. There we go, thank you. Anytime. The horrors they faced, the terrors they vanquished, it is too much for words, too much for the telling. Know only, gentle reader, that these be heroes of conviction true. No others have ever breached the final domain of the hellish Gorgu to reap the rewards of its most inner sanctums, and then... What, what the, the hell? hell? Whatever did the Light Warriors see? If only there was more room on this page to display it, but alas, there is not. And what limited space remains is being eaten alive by these very words. Treachery is their foul, bile, pumping hearts. Because of them, you'll have to wait and see what the hell's going on. You can be told this much, however. Nothing will ever be the same again. Enough said. Due to natural entropic decay, technically speaking, everything is always different all the time, so it could be lying and that'd still be true. God, I don't know. This was unexpected. What are your ruffians doing here? How did you get past the lava? The traps of doom and the magma filled doom traps? Hmm? How? How did you? How did I? I live here, damn it! It's a bit out of the way. It's the idea! If there's one thing I can't stand, it's stored at our salesmen. They besieged my village like the plague they did. I traveled a thousand miles away from anything like civilization, moved into needs of a violent and unpredictable volcano, set up dozens of pitfalls. Hell! I even put out a sign! And yet you bastards still insist on interrupting my life. It's rude, is what it is. We don't want to sell anything. We're simply here to collect the orb fire. If you know where it is, I suggest you help us to attain it. Otherwise, your life may become immediately finite. Orb of fire? No, no, you want Gorgu Volcano over the Crescent Lake Drive. This is Gorgu Volcano. I may be one of the most powerful beings in existence, but I sure have awful penmanship. Sorry. We'll see ourselves out. The exit is next to all the lava. I'm now about to be a hermit. So, we're on the wrong side of the planet because Sada has sloppy handwriting. Great. I hate this. I'm waiting for you to say present company excluded. One side blockhead, I've got a plan. It's simple, it's direct, and it will take care of all of our problems. Let's hear it. No time for that, just come with me. You two stay here. I'm still waiting. One hour later! I don't think he's going to say it. No, he'll say it. Okay, we should be far enough now. Far enough? I should have mentioned this at the beginning. I solved my problems through violence. See, I think he'd have said it by now if he was going to say it at all. Don't you think I know that? I'm both honoured and horrified that you'd include me by this. Oh, I'm sorry, you confused me. See, I'm not aiming for our friends. Their deaths are assured, of course. Because I'm going to destroy the volcano. The explosion will combust thousands of pounds of high and stable gas. Thus, the total destructive force of my spell will multiply by a whole lot. Our friends there will be vaporized. I'd assume something to that effect was at work. Why did you say I was confused? Your tone seems to indicate you believe yourself outside this plan. The shockwave will easily send us into the upper atmosphere. If reactor doesn't kill you, the sudden stop will. The atmosphere will you! Oh no! I can cast better fall on myself and rip to the surface like a cloud made of pillows that are themselves stuffed with softer clouds. Here I always thought I'd be murdered in my sleep. You're the man, Pete. You're the man. Where is that thing going? that I'm complaining about it, but how did you miss a volcano? You see, Fighter, anytime you do anything, there is a 1 in 20 chance that you will critically fail. The results of such catastrophic events are up to the gods. Sadly for us, they are vindictive and filled with bad ideas. A planet in the same orbit on the other side of the sun, where giant lizards rule! <laughs> so we're still stuck on the wrong side of the world. Uh, what do we do now? Sun must have been in my eyes. I can try to plan kill all my teammates with Mega Explosive Volcano again tomorrow. Wait, plant what? Oh, you bastard! Look, we all hate Black Mage, okay? What's River? Turn right back round, Chief. No, not for you. We'll exact that terrible revenge after we get on this rock. All we need to do now is construct a means of conveyance. 
Red Mage, I defer to your expert opinion. That's the first sensible thing anyone has ever said. Ever. We can make a big wooden crate and mail ourselves to Gurgu. Let's call that plan shut up. <laughs> or we can take the death trap, which was my backup plan all along. That makes no sense. I didn't know this would be here. But I didn't know it wouldn't be here, and it looks like I was right. It's more painful than it hurts. Previously on Vlogniac. 600. That's how many subscribers I've got now. Let's get to 1,000 by the end of the year. Love you guys. Okay, this is fine. Only my legs are destroyed. My hip is merely crushed. Oh, there are tremendous bursts in my foot. I will help. I'm sure I can be full free. Where did it come from? The factory, of course. I meant in an immediate sense. Ah, probably from the sky. That's my guess. Yes, why didn't we think of that? Four minutes later! I find it interesting that both Batman and Lex Luthor refer to Superman as the alien. It shows that they share an inherent distrust. Could you imagine a Wayne Luther team up? I'm scared, hold me. You join that organization and you're on the winning team. No, it's cool, guys. I'll just do it on my own then. The bloody stuff I used to call legs are free, free. It's just a matter of crawling over there, climbing up each of you, and leaving lives in your throat with my last ounce of strength. Ha! Huh. And you said I was lost. Okay, this could be worse. It could be much better, but it could be worse. Wow, I can't believe you actually found the Delight Warriors back there. Oh, you gods, they make my mates out of lead! In Black Bad's defense, or rather, not at all, we are on the completely wrong side of the world. Typical. Now that we have access to a death trap that's remarkably like an airship, we can leave. Oh, it's not a death trap anymore. It turns out the dwarves aren't choosing the Bogo class yet, you know. It'll take two weeks to get the parts. I don't know, I'm feeling awfully forgetful these days. What would happen if I couldn't remember my spells? Why? It might take me a couple of weeks to relearn those spells. By then, it'll be too late to save your village. What a travesty. What an easily avoidable travesty. Plus, we strong armed them into helping us out. Ahem. So, how's everyone doing? Can't complain. I think I've got a blister. I could use some lunch. Did I hit lunch? I'm always in the mood for some Italian food. Why does no one help me? When I look back at my life, I can't help but see an inevitable chain of events. That's ridiculous. Do you believe there could have been any other outcome than this? That's not how it works. There is no grand story to history. Things just happen. It's the act of looking back at it that interposes a sense of narrative. Yet here we are, just as we were always going to be. Doesn't that drive you mad? Do you hate yourself for it? You never having seen it coming until now? Every little thing is so painfully obvious now, isn't it? Now that it's too late, you have all the answers, don't you? It's not too late. It's for something. Are you trying to goad me? You know it's going to end here. Just like it was always going to, right? You're catching on. One last thing. Do you remember when we went to Gurg? Yes. Why did you do it? We gotta be funny. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? I'm gonna look back on this one day and think it's hilarious. I'll kill them all anyway, but at least we can laugh about it. And so, not too far from Crescent Lake. Oh, don't be such a crybaby. I healed you. You're fine. What about the emotional stars? I was under the impression that some type of your emotional life consisted of entirely of seething, blind, unfocused companion. Still waters run deep, my mage. Still waters run deep. What? How does that even apply? Well, I hope it's actually. Huck! Who goes there? Who goes where? We're right here. Where goes you? Yeah, what'd you think of that? Cunning! It's... You've proven yourself a worthy adversary this day. Okay. I would know your name, sir. Really? That's cool. Ah, uh, I don't think you quite understood me. Yeah, probably not. Let's try this again. Sure, can I start this time? Yes, you know what, um, is there someone else affiliated with your organization with whom I could speak? 
Spider, we've talked about this in the past. When you hear words that don't come from outside, those are your thoughts, okay? But these did come from outside. No, in that case, you're out of your gourd. There is no one here. Isn't there? What the? Oh, Jeff. Ta-da! Such an impressive display is indicative of truly astronomical charisma score. Must resist first impression. What own well-met fellow adventurers? How? What? How where? You mean my mate? She'll hit you for that. Uh, no. Good, she's a healer, but she carries a huge damn hammer. Please, good sirs, uh, allow me to explain. I am- the creep with a knife against your back. Hey man, deep our friends. Meanwhile, Sexual innuendo. Indignation. No one ambushes my team except me. Yeah! Well, I'll stop you. Shh. Alright, fruitcake, talk. Uh, my, my, my full name is G Generic Half Elven U Class Ranger. What's your other class? Also, Ranger. That's twice the maximum amount of Ranger the human body can hold. I'm only half human. Dear Lord, it's four times now! He's motorbiking! <laughs> I'll have to excuse Red Mage. He has his good days and his bad. Perhaps my forgiveness would be easier to give if not for the knife against my back. That's certainly a possibility. What's your business with? If you must know, my cohort and I were. Yes, Berserker. I'm ready to make wrong, so we have to get naked. You hurt my brain. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Mr. Half Elven. Please call me Ranger. Swoon. I don't mean to complain, but I think you didn't actually cast Cure. Uh huh, that's nice of you. Tell me, are they also handsome and charming where you come from, Ranger? Not quite all, no. See, the stump is still unattached, and I'm losing a tremendous amount of blood. If you could see your way to casting a curative spell, that'd be great. Yes, of course. Of legendary skill and beauty? Surely you are a dream. Double swoon. I see how my incredible intellect must become aligned against this ranger. I'm already forming a plan of such such a genius that will obliterate all ranger thinking thoughts and white lady's brain. While simultaneously opening her heart and hands to me, black man, you will be my stamina. Sounds integral. I believe that was merely an antidote spell and therefore useless. Crap, his skill. Tell me that's not a declaration of intent. What mage? Speak to dumb. While I find our conversation fascinating, I also find you terrifying, unpredictable, and hard. So I'm just going to. Oh, I do say it never gets any easier, does it? Uh, is that a monocle? I don't get it. What that dirt dog and I? You mean besides the graph of grammar? We talk good. <laughs> He knows the difference between right and wrong. Moral, a complete understanding of the theories and practical applications of personal hygiene. Friends, a face, the respect of his peers. Hey, I have friends. I have a friend. What you have is a highly dysfunctional relationship based exclusively on abuse. Right, a friend. See that? That right there, that's what's wrong with you. Damn it, Fighter White Mate doesn't like you because you're a rotten friend. What is horrible. How is your well-spoken, cultured, and devoted? Just because I fly into a blind homicidal rage at the top of the helm doesn't mean I'm incapable of appreciating the finer things in life. I refuse to be defined merely by my job. Yes, Berserker is what I do, but it's not who I am. You wear the cloak of red magics, yet do you not entertain thoughts relating to pursuits other than the acquisition and manipulation of power? And though your friend is a ruler of the dark arts, surely there is more to his life than consorting with the forces of evil. Time to prattle it, my new god, Mr. Evil, will feast upon your heads. That's what we call a bad example. See? And clearly your rogue friend has a life beyond chicanery and vandalism. He is royalty, so... no, not really. And this brave warrior! No stranger is he to the field of battle. It is played sing like the pen of a poet. He does like haiku! And yet you find it strange there is more to the dimension of my being than rage and incoherent violence. Your assumption wounds us both. Like an axe to the head? Oh, I wouldn't characterize it quite. Great Moradin's beard! I don't mean to alarm you, sir, but there seems to be an axe lodge in your head, Elf. They don't say. So, we and guide show us the way to Crescent Lake. Then surely it was the stars that brought you to me, for I am a ranger, and the forests are well known to me. Then you'll take us? Nay, good woman, that is exactly why I cannot take you. What you and your wandering band of circus performers seek is the Lake of the Damned. Every summer, a group of ill-informed youths travel to this lake to frolic and make merry, as is the want of youth. But the lake, it's an evil force, and it hungers for the blood of the innocent. Often it settles on taking it from these kids. There are those who say that the lake isn't cursed at all. They say these grisly, inhuman murders owe their origin to something far more sinister. A man. 
Perhaps a man of the forest. Someone who knows how to use the woods themselves as a weapon. Someone who could seemingly appear and disappear from the brush at will. Someone they met on their way to the lake. Someone who promises to show them a shortcut. Someone so charming he couldn't possibly be a threat. But no shortcut is traversed. No. He takes them deeper into the woods, where sane men dare not tread. Where the undergrowth will obscure signs of travel or of struggle. When one youth, exhausted and frustrated from the endless hiking through unfamiliar, deadly terrain, speaks his mind, asks, how much farther is it to Crystal Lake? Crescent. Excuse me? We want to go to Crescent Lake. Oh, well, that's right over there. I know a shortcut there. We gather here today to mourn the passing of Fighter, valiant flight warrior, friend, and fighter. He was taken from us before his time by 65 stab wounds in the back. <laughs> but it's more over that dang knife broke off somewhere in his spine. Not that I'm counting or anything. I'm not being paid for this, so I'm done for the day. Pay your respects if you want, I'll be sitting down over there. If I only roll a double, you might be here today. I'll make sure to burn your character sheet. We'll see you around, old pal. And by see you around, I mean tonight, and by pal, I mean grave robbing victim. Well, that's just at us and all that. Get down the hole, you half old corpse. So, who's up for a party? I know. Hey, man, wake up! You've got to see this! Uh, how? Wake up! <laughs> what? Oh, no. No, it can't be. I was happy. No! Check it out, BM! It's a three leaf clover! Can you believe it? I'm the luckiest guy ever! Why? It isn't fair! It's not fair! Why? <laughs> Don't worry, BM, you'll find one too someday. Hey kids, just to say thank you for watching, thanks for all your support. Have a great Christmas for to support you do. Be nice to your parents, eat well, and be good. Whilst I avoid black mages specifically. Happy Christmas, everyone. The ongoing adventures of the real Light Warriors. Day 470, we're lost again. Ninja says we should go back to Elfland. The others disagree. Our travels have thus far been perilous. What did I just step in? I hate my life. Back in the castle, Red Wizard took a wrong turn and he had to face down that Hydra. White Wizard was all like, By the gods, we are afraid to die! What a wuss. Anyway, we beat it to with an inch of his life and it told us a secret. A catacomb which held magic weapons that would help us prove our worth and defeat chaos. Oh, how well, stupid we were to believe that freaky eight-headed monster. How was I supposed to know it was a trap? Usually when a monster is help, it's real, right? And besides, it wasn't a hard battle. We did get some experience and gold. Wait, who's that? That's it. I've had enough. Meanwhile... I like shut up. Whoa, yeah! It is I, Black Belt, wishing you a very happy holiday season, or Kwanzaa, or Winter Solstice, or whatever you may celebrate this certain year. However, certain systems to exhibit quantum mechanical effects on a larger scale, superfluidity, and if it's the frictionless flow of liquid at temperatures near absolute zero, is a well-known example. Quantum theory also provides accurate descriptions of how many cookies can actually fit into a tree at any time. Now, there's quantum Christmas mechanical theory, which is a completely different theory, which is just so... Inept. I... Seems that my own madness is just like in my own head, and I can't even think about how to do this. I'm black belt. I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I'm heroic and courageous and daring. And when there's a Christmas present under the Christmas tree, and they tell me it's a fat man, I tend not to believe it. I, I tend to think about, I tend to think about quantum mechanical social slip theory. Materialize underneath the tree on its own willpower, and how a fat man cannot fit down my chimney as I don't even own a chimney. I'm in an apartment. I had scaled down, and so we don't have a chimney, we don't have it. How? Anyways, winter solstice, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate this year, have a very good one. This is a black belt. 
to save that Christmas present. It's a perfect show. We join King Steve and his new left-hand man, Gary. Gary is his left-hand man because his right-hand man is now, and always will be, Rodney the Coffee Stain. Walking in the luxurious and oft-unkept castle gardens. Left-hand man, Gary, look at my new shoes. Aren't they fantastic? Highness, I find myself being drawn to complimenting your shoes. Thank you, Lefty. Yes, they're quite nice and very comfortable. Very expensive, too. I would explain the obscene sum of money that's gone missing from the treasury. Indeed. These shoes are cheap. They're made from babies. Fresh, eh? Actually, sire, that's something I want to talk to you about. Even though the shoes, which, I must say, are the nicest shoes I've ever seen in my life, are wonderful, they're also quite disturbing. The sound of babies crying with every step. Of course, fool! Why do you think they cost so very, very much? Forgive me, sorry. Your wisdom is it. Tell me, why do we always walk in this same awkward shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder formation? I think after that police lineup, it just sort of became part of our routine. Wait, you realize what potential for versatility this discovery offers? We can walk differently now. BM, you're a genius! Technically, I'm the genius. Your very words, my intellectual property. Oh, and using them doesn't come cheap. Later that day. I am always the great and terrible. For what reason have you sought me a versatile warrior? Huh. I knew we shouldn't have followed that Yardbrook road. Would you rather have followed that neurotic white rabbit down his filthy hole? Hey, ass, you're a wizard, right? Do you think you could pull some of your fancy magic tricks and restore the four elemental orbs for us? The elemental orbs? Who cares about those glorified bowling balls? Here in Oz, we have a golden cap that summons flying monkeys. Real flying monkeys! What the hell are we doing? We could be brandishing the power of a pack of primates money enough to blot out the sun with their sheer numbers. Of course. It's like we have no clearly defined incentive to be on this quest at all. If I had stuck to swimming, I could have had the GDP of the developing world handed to my wallet. It's not like the altruism is guiding us. We're pure evil. Our party consists of a psychotic evil magician, a thieving criminal mastermind, a demented brawler with a penchant for swords, and I'm clearly a communist. Hey, if we're quitting, does that mean I can train up my sword trucks now? What's this? Wait, fighter? No! What ho, good YouTubers? Ranger here to wish you a merry festive season and many more to come. It gets! Could it be true? I've been waiting for this my whole life, maybe longer. My existence up until this point has been without meaning. When I cross through that door, I will emerge a new man, a better man. But with great sword chucking power will come great responsibility. Am I ready for such a burden? Of course I am. I am fighter. I am he who is meant to take up the chucks in the name of all that is shiny. This is the time for action, not contemplation. This is... Is... I sent something as a message. By the love of the gods, my still beating heart has been set in flame! Christmas, eh? So the 8-bit Theater Chaos crew want me to give them a Christmas message? Well, I can forget it. I'm too busy coming up with new and inventive ways to hurt Black Mage. I had this idea for next season. Like, a spell that will force him to vomit out all of his entrails through either his nostrils or his ear holes. Or maybe both at the same time. Wow, that would be quite messy. And also quite funny, I think. You know what? I tell you what's really getting to me these days, and that's the lack of good remakes. I mean, people seem to be rehashing old ideas just for the hell of it to make a quick buck. It really annoys me. What I'm thinking of doing is going into the minds of every Hollywood director ever and then melting them down and replacing them with cheese. You know, just a screw of their heads. I might also be include some Playboy magazines in there, you know, just to underline the whole screen with your head thing. So, if you answered A, Jesus, in celebration of his birthday, you are absolutely correct. Cheerio and Merry Christmas! Do you remember that girl, Rodney? What was her name? Ah yes, Rebecca. Quite a time we had with her, eh Rodney? It was your birthday as I recall. You had just had your bar mitzvah and we were lighting fireworks as was customary in those days. No Rodney, I think it was you in fact who taught her to sing. I remember we wrote a lengthy epic poem yeah. on the subject. Have Something you seen like, my... oh hello dear. Dear? Sarah? Are you quite alright? Rodney, get left hand man Gary. Tell him he's the chief medical officer and have him come here at once. Rodney? Rodney! Goodness, no! It's a plague! I hope I don't catch it too! I hope you send some help. Hmm, it would appear a massive chasm has interrupted our quest, fellow librarians. But fear not, as always, I have a cunning plan. 
All I need to do is switch my 8 rank to Knowledge, Decorative Cake Frosting, to 8 rank to Knowledge, Suspension Bridge Engineering, then draw the 15 year plan to build the Red Mage Memorial Bridge. You have 8 rank to Decorative Cake Frosting? My personal life is not on trial here. I have a better plan, which is not surprising as my head would have to implode before I would be capable of dividing a worse one. I can't help but notice a peaceful little village right over there. I certainly go around them as many town folks as we can find, and then push them into the gathering one by one until their battered corpses form the macabre bridge that we might stroll across at our leisure. Ooh, can I help? Yes, yes, Father. You might say your aid is the foundation of my plan. Okay. How about that? Yay! Wait, wait, wait. Why do we need to get over this chasm again? Right, killing and looting. But as BM pointed out, there is a village on this side of the chasm. Ah, Christmas time. The best time of the year for the Santa clan of elves. Far better than for those stupid Keeblers. Well, in any case, we go around giving presents to everyone at this time of the year. Why? Because we know that in 20 years' time, those presents are going to be worth a lot more when you add interest. So just remember, we remember you, we see you when you're sleeping, and we know when you're awake. Merry Christmas from Prince Drizzle. Until the handle breaks off and you have to find a doctor to pull it out again. Chapter 448, Gladius Katana. When first I witnessed the so-called chain swords, my heart sank for the mission before me. Surely no force of man or magic could withstand such might. I had seen storms with less fury. Still, as per my work, I have chronicled its mysteries here. Gladius Katana Mastery. Prerequisites. 12 skills of Zodiac Kenshido, Ambidexterity, and 2 weapon fighting. Benefits. Gain the Whirlwind Attack feat when using the chain swords, as well as cleave or upgrade to greater cleave if cleave is already possessed. Anyone attempting to back attack or flank the Gladius Katana Master will automatically fail and be victim to a free attack of opportunity. My horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. Chapter 369. Frigus 9. Know now, faithful reader, that the spell contained herein is not to be undertaken lightly. Its use guarantees nothing short of the end of all the world, doomed forever to a prison of ice. That said, it is best used against foes in other planes or rival dimensions. Frigus 9. School Evocation. Components, total disregard for life and or morals. Range, not applicable. Targets, the universe. Duration, eternity. Saving throw, reflex save for wish. Spell resistance, not a chance. Description. Halt all thermodynamic activity of a target resulting in a chain reaction that robs the universe of all energy and kills everything, caster included. Then they made me their chief. Chapter 81. Underpugnius. Of all that I have faced in my travels across this great world, it is the underpugnius that I fear most. It is fueled by... Hey BM, what makes your Hadarkin work anyway? Promise not to tell anyone? For the purposes of this conversation, yes I do. Mom. Wrong. Love is a very powerful force, even more so when it bursts into a coherent beam of destruction. Every time I cast it open, it siphons away some of the love in the universe. I'm not sure how much, but uh, given to understand the divorce rate goes up with each blast. What? Screw it, some things are just too horrible. It is I, the very evil Garland. <laughs> Christmas cookies. Number one, mix flour, ginger, cinnamon, bacon, spread that mega salt in a large bowl. Beat butter and brown sugar in large bowls to let it for medium and low speed. Until light and fluffy. Until light and fluffy! <laughs> and molasses! No, add molasses, I can't read my own directions. Add molasses and egg. Beat well or beat it. Beat it within an inch of its life! But not too much, because it would be very good and tender. Gradually beat! In flour mixture on load speed, well mixed. Until well mixed, I can't read. This is helmet, it obscures everything. Press dough into a thick flat disc. Wrap in plastic wrap. Refrigerate four hours or overnight. <laughs> Preheat the oven to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Roll out to a fourth inches thickness of lightly floured work surface. Cut into gingerbread wind shapes or elves. Whatever you want, but not forest tips. Those gingerbread cookies are for forest tip shape. I'm gonna be very upset you missed it. <clears throat> cut into gingerbread men shapes with 5 inch cookie cutter. Place 1 inch apart on ungreased baking sheets. And now, and now for the final.
Uh, step in cooking. Bake 8 to 10 minutes until it is a cookies are set by Andrew Brown. Hold on baking sheets for 1 to 2 minutes. Remove wire racks. Cool completely. Decorate cold cookies and desire still cookies and airtight container up to 5 days to serve to family and friends. It's so evil but delicious. <laughs> Sire! Sire! The castle is on fire! The castle is on fire! Nonsense! Sire, we have to evacuate! Everyone has already left! Uh, only you and I remain! You and I and... You and I and Rodney remain. Sire, we must go! The th three of us need to get out of here before the castle burns down around us! Faithful Letty, answer me a question. Why do dogs chase cats? Sire, I hardly think this is the time for... Answer! Dogs chase cats because... I don't know why! Dogs chase cats because they run. They chase them because they run. Think about that, and you'll have your answer, Miffy. I'm sorry, Princess, but you refused to leave. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> Has anyone seen my pipe? I left it near the black powder room, and... What's everyone doing out here? Are we having a picnic? Hmm, no. This isn't Tuesday. Black Knight! Black Knight! Black Knight! Oh, jeez. What now? I got a present for you. Open it. You're fucking kidding. It's Starve Chucks! I made them for you myself, because you can't use swords. Sometimes, Fighter, you amaze me. Two magic stains on a chain? How can you keep coming up with ideas this stupid? It's a gift. Magic's about skill and control, not just swinging spells around like swords. What kind of useless body? Ah, oh, you shouldn't have. You're welcome. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. On the way to Crescent Lake! Okay, Jerkat has been talking about storms. You know what must be done. Yeah? The particular inflection of your tone indicated that was a query, did it not? Yeah? I might consider my decision to make your accurate participation a paramount feature of my plan to success or mistake, but I don't make those. Therefore, I am justified in perpetrating levels of pain upon you as have not yet been conceived by mortals, should you fail to execute your role with precision and, damn it, grace. Yeah? Do not screw me on this. Just get in position. You see, to one such as he who is I, the forest is very much like a living song. Every element from the mightiest tree to the nookiest nook is a note of that melody. Attuned as I am to the song of the forest, I can detect the smallest imperfection in its grand, natural harmony. That is how I came across you fellows. I hear these woods are silly with roaming packs of killed crazy bears. I certainly wouldn't want to make any sudden movements. I say I certainly wouldn't want to make any sudden- Yarrr! I'm a bear! That's... that's just swell. Is there a particular reason why you elected to disregard my ingenious plot and instead leapt from the trees insisting that you were, in fact, a bear? I can barely stand your plan. What? I couldn't bear my role in it. Stop that. It was so busy. I will take you apart in alphabetical order if you do not desist. What do you find so unbearable? Why do you keep talking about bears? This tea is lovely. Scary. I barely know how to answer your question, BM. You already did that one. Did I? I must have a bear's memory. You mean an elephant's memory, and I hate you. Aw, oh, come on, give me a bear hug. That berserker, he's such a card. One second he's an axe-wielding murder machine, the next he's a cultured gentleman. It's strange for one man to be so polar to himself. Don't you fellows think? Belly. Beware, my fellows. Tread lightly and true, for the forest near Gurgu air has been known for its treacherous paths. It is indeed the darkest of woods. 
We're not too worried, thanks. I like to think I know my way around a forest. You know, since the essence of my being resonates with the very concept of forest. And frankly, I've seen darker wood and elk. Your elf eyes do see as the living forest itself. That much is clear to me. But there is much that you cannot see. Man, I didn't lose it when I caught a glimpse of an elder god defecating. You got it on my shoes. It shot advertising executives. And the battle attraction that killed the elf universe. I'm sure the dark woods of Gurgu are scary when you're a human, a child, or have a heart condition, but I grew up on the elven side of the world. We've got horrors they don't even have names for, because they've been around since before they were worlds. Oh, just call me here. I doubt not that your land is a noble yet dangerous one, but here in the foothills of Gurgu, we have a lake so poisoned by evil that glancing at it is fatal. What? That's the stupidest legend I've ever heard. I mean, what? Is it supposed to be that like- No! It's okay, everyone. His brain's just hemorrhaging from an errant axe shard. I say. We may be temporarily delayed due to your friend's injury, but we must look on the bright side of it. What? So you finally talking for the duration? That's what we call a zing, by the way. We may take this opportunity to learn more about each of our groups, to trade tales about travels and news from across the world. I'm sure you ladies must have many entertaining stories to tell, since you are obviously from the circus. There are two things wrong with that sentence, and both of them are all of it. What makes you think we're ladies? Oh, I don't think that. That'd be stupid. Ranger in your feet, fellow male. Ranger explained to me some time ago that those of elven descent aren't necessarily the most masculine in the parents. So, why do you think we're girls? Uh, your distinct lack of beard, of course. And this fact completely overrides our lack of female secondary sexual characteristics, i.e. boobies. Oh. And our whole circus performance thing. Well, I mean, literature. As they say in the vernacular, Zing. At last, our band of weary travellers has arrived at the Volcano of Gurgu. I must say, I doubt you'll find work here. The Volcano is not a good place for a circus. Drop it already. It is with a heavy heart and the beard of woe that we must now bid you farewell. Finally. But why? We must continue upon our own quest to find our lost companions, Cleric and Rogue. Aye, they departed for Dwarven lands long ago. I have greeted them with an official seal of my family, Axinger, so they could travel without fear of being struck down by the populace. And yet we have heard nothing of them since they ventured into the lands of Dwarf. Might you bring the news from that way? You're going to hear a lot of crazy things. Mostly crazy talk about the Dwarf lands and everything in it burning to the ground. Which is crazy, as we discussed earlier. Dwarf land and flames? Look, mistakes were made. I blame the Dwarves myself. They were just kind of standing there. If what you say is true, then I must bow to kill those who ruined my homeland. Good luck finding those guys, whom I would hate to be and I'm not affiliated with in any way. Some say they were former orders disguised as dugans. Totally blowing our cover. Relax, I'm a liar, I know what I'm getting this into. Others, mostly myself, say it was probably in fact your buddy Ranger. That's... that's madness! I've been here with Berserker all this time! It'd be impossible for me to burn Dwarfland from here! Sounds like someone's been thinking an awful lot about how he could burn Dwarfland. Strange thoughts for an allegedly innocent man to have. Logic plus I'm talking equals KABOOM! Zerka bosom chum, who would you believe? Your adventuring companion all these complete strangers. There is no choice, friend Ranger. My trust in you is total. Which is exactly how that conniving saboteur was able to act against you all this time without you suspecting a thing. Fiend! Zerka, what are you- Oh, no, no, stop! 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 Oh, we've done better. I wonder really how the bearded warriors are doing these days. I'm sure we can expect their triumphant return any day now. Plus, Red Mage, you cannot tell him this, but he's not actually a crossdresser and he has no daddy issues. I've just been messing with his head. Wow! Did Ranger and Berserker wander off while I was attending to the mysterious wounds inflicted upon the vital Red Mage? The only mystery is how he didn't break any bones when she shoved us. Oh, wandered off is such a strong word. It's two words. I'm dying out here. Game over, man. Game over. Get out of the way before you hurt yourself. Why, mate, it'll be best if you hear this shocking but completely believable news from someone you know and kind of trust. Okay. Ranger and Berserk with a space alien from beyond the moon, sent here to battle the one force that could stop their invasion of the world, the Light Warriors. But then they died from a virus that may or may not have been delivered by an otherwise innocuous object, but like, I would like to say, an apple. Do you think me a fool? Well, you didn't have the wisdom to be born an elf, so... I trusted them so readily when there was such a risk to your destiny. But you bested them only strengthens my belief in you, O oh, Warriors of Light. 
I hurt my suspicions of those two, I admit. But tell me, what final piece of evidence casts a light of truth in their origins? Evidence? Well, it looks like we've found the entrance to Gogo Volcano. The problem is, it's covered in ancient mystical ruins that spell out some impossible real and or curse upon those who seek entrance. Even that wouldn't be much of a hindrance since we're a quick thief who can weasel his way in through other sneaky means and red mage who could trick the world into thinking he knew what he was doing just long enough to get away with it. Sadly, the former is trying to sell white mage as a ridiculous lie and he needs the lab of expert testimony to corroborate his claims. And so, as Red Mage has clearly illustrated, Ranger and Berserker were space alien invaders. I don't think drawing a picture counts as evidence, Mr. Thief. Well, how else do you suggest we draw a conclusion? So we're stuck here. Are you sure? Doesn't sound too complicated, really. Assume that the universe has been expanding since the Planck time. Calculate the necessary value for Omega, the density of the universe is expressed by a ratio of the gravitational forces and the expulsion forces, for all of creation to neither collapse nor expand into formless emptiness eons ago. Calculate Omega for a universe that does not expand until after the Planck time. Failure to show your work will result in your mysterious and contrived death. What the hell kind of ancient puzzle is that? And how the hell did you read it? With my eyes, duh. Seriously, what my typical problems with that? I was an overcomplication language man in college. You never went to college, fighter. It's an obscure language, utterly unlike anything else in the linguistic world. Their alphabet consists of 379 consonants and only four vowels. They write backwards except for every third word, which is placed as it would have been normally. Your lies are without meaning. Their national mascot is the Flamingo. <sighs> I'm officially ignoring you now. Okay, I seem to remember some dead old key by who, when presented with a problem of unsolvable perplexity, would blaze a path to victory via stability means. Therefore... <laughs> I'm comfortable with taking full credit for the feet of entrance because then I get to ignore how or why he is here. Hey everyone, be on fun BB! Previously on 8 Bit Chaos. It's a mountain stronghold in the east. I'm from a mountain stronghold in the east. How many of those do you think there are anyway? Meanwhile, a mountain stronghold a little further to the east. Do you know who I was just thinking of? Do tell. Remember our greatest student? Why, of course. We named our ultimate title of accomplishment after him. Chris. Yes. No, not Chris, you fool. Black Belt. But I like Chris. Yet it's a shame what happened. He wasn't nearly a match for Black Belt. But why do you bring this up now? We, the elders of the ultimate fighting style, who Zia, have not spoken the name of Black Belt in quite some time. It's just that I see him over there at Gurgu with me sight of the eagle's claw technique. You were never good at naming techniques, you know. My point is, he may be returning after all this time. He was always so focused in the way of fighting that he never quite bothered to differentiate his ass from a hole in the ground. Truly, I remember the last time anyone saw him. It was at graduation. He never quite got there when his name was called. Black Belt? Black Belt! So this is where you train to kill? Yup. It doesn't look like a dojo. Fire monsters are new. Must be part of the new expanded curriculum. This is not what you train. I see what you mean. From a metaphysical point of view, things have changed here so much that it's no longer the place I knew as a youth. Or, you know, the wrong place. Indeed. A place can change as much as a man in time. 
Can I even say I'm the same individual as the naive, lost little boy who used to train day and night in these very hills? I tried being me, but you won't me. I know I but the shoving in the Can it be said that any of us are truly who we were as children? Has not the world and our experiences changed us as our capacities for intellectual maturity increase? Faith and I did some scouting around. Yeah, what we found. I'm sorry it's not a scale, I was in a rush. Your life is failure, but we're used to it, I guess. At least it doesn't look like much lava. I ran out of ink and paper. There's between 60 and 8,000 square feet of lava. I'm no good at estimation. I had to know this. There's only one dragon, and we've still got the element of surprise. No, he posed for that shot. Oh, good. I was worried this was going to be difficult. Our primary concern is the giant lake of lava and how we will crush it. Silly me. I'd have thought the enormous fire dragon on the other side would have had some worry. It certainly does, but not until we cross the lava. Wow, you make a good point. I'm beside myself. I thought I was next. Yeah. I can lure the dragons by our side, but I don't think we might rape your other whip. Then we can break it down on Atom. I thought about that as well, but the further we are from the dragon, the better. In fact, once we get there, our plan of attack may look suspiciously like a plan of sneaking away. The main advantage we have on this side, other than not having to deal with the lava or the dragon, is that we still possess a means of retreat. If we bring the dragon here, there's a chance we'll be trapped between a dragon and a lake of lava. Check out the brain of our head. It's not nearly as dark as all the previous pride that I've had us to believe. Does anyone else smell dragon? I only smell your stupid hoses, which is another way of saying your breath is stupid. Stupid. You seem upset about something. I've been thinking about that. If, and this is only an if, mind you, but if these aren't the real night warriors, is it necessarily wrong for us to help them? But they all met the prophecy's predictions, right? They have the orbs of light, and they were appointed by the greatest king in the land. I invented eating, you know. Single-handedly solved starvation. It's how I got voted in office. We don't vote for kings, sir. Then explain this campaign, sir. Yes, I know. But please, just indulge me. History would remember the wrong heroes, but those who are given the glory are irrelevant to the deed. You are steeped in wisdom, Black Belt. Yeah, I sweat wisdom for breakfast. What? No, wait, I eat breakfast for sustenance. Sweat has nothing to do with it. Ugh, why am I asking you for advice? Minutes later... Again, I must apologize for eating your friend. I'm not inherently violent, but he came after me with magic and steel. We understand you're a dragon. You see, standing up, building a sword, and then things kicking. Not your fault at all. I thank you for your understanding, but I'm just sick about the whole thing. All the same, please let me make it up to you. Dragons are well known for their obscene treasure trove. They make kings look like plain street people who are so poor they can only beg for money from other less poor street people. What? He's probably rich. Rich, rich, he's a dragon. His entire biology is a giant system of rare, not impossible to acquire magical components. What? We'll have him commit honorable sabbatical and spit with Kagan for the bow. I couldn't help but overhear your plans to abuse my generosity. Why do you suggest you avoid such lines of thought unless you wish to end your lives? I'm sorry, Mr. Dragon. My friends can be a little uncouth. All we really desire is passage to the other side of the cave. Perhaps you could carry us. Oh, I'm afraid not. I have love for blood. And it'd probably kill you to touch me. But it's a simple task to shed a few scales and melt them. Once they come, I'll we'll protect you from the intense heat of this cave. There you go. Now we'll just start the next one. You seem to have some heartburn. Do you have some Mexican food? It does that to me too. A fire dragon's organs are vulnerable to ice spells. I am a genius. Not Mexican. Well, sucks to be you non-fire-armored suckers. Left hand man go. Tell me how the elections are going. Dad, it's me. Sarah, your daughter? You didn't tell me you were also my daughter, Gary. Pulling down two jobs. You're quite the worker and deserve to be rewarded with double your pay. I don't think you're listening. I'm a king. Listening is for other people. But you heard that. Heard? Whisking? Other people? King? Kaboom! What? Steve Bot 07. What have you done to him, Gary? I'm your daughter. This isn't a time for your daughter shenanigans, Gary. Steve 107 is dead. I'll have to dock you the increase in pay I talked about earlier and couldn't possibly know about right now. You do that. 
No, what a tragedy! And the reform is during the already frantic election year. I do hope it's not an omen. You're not running against anyone. We have no system for voting, and kings aren't elected anyway. Oh, Steve Otto 07, you are too beautiful for this world. You've done a very stupid thing, Otto. The line between genius and stupidity is drawn by vision. And let me tell you, the view from inside a dragon's digestive tract is filled with insight. Okay. Oh, it's too goddamn stupid. Well, fighters are going to sink with you, Barcelona. And you know what I'm thinking, Bing? Way <laughs> Hi guys! Ah! I said hi! <laughs> hold tight! Hold tight? We take daggers to his hand. He can not help but hold on to it. Seemed like the nice thing to say. After throwing him face first into a rock wall on the other side of a giant sea. Fire! Yes. Anyone? Okay, fighter. Tie us to something sturdy so we can climb across. On it like stink on rice. Um, yeah, okay. Done! Why is the rope on fire? I tied it to the lava, you know, so we can find it when we're done here. Here's a new plan to distract me from contemplating murder. Black Belt, you hold on to the rope for us. No, I don't want to let a terrible take the spell, I said. That'd be one dead doom spell, I said. I'm devoting my fragile hand. Step all over them, it's cold. At least one good thing came out of this. I got to look on white lady's bones. No, you didn't. My robes are arranged with decency in mind. I'm a white maid, not some spoiled princess whore on spring break. Pig. Daddy buys my love, but not unlike the fat guys who buy my affection one drink at a time. But you don't know for sure. Yes, I do. Yeah, I got one. Just hurry before someone, such as myself, cuts the rope. Minutes later. How are we going to get black milk across to? I like it. That's what that is. Hi, guys. How you here? What? I held the rope up and walked across, just like you guys. That doesn't... I mean... Come on! Come on! Let's stop wasting time with your incomplete sentences and finish this quest. But... we took the rope down on this end. But I don't think he knew that. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. Previously on 8 bit Theater Chaos. Okay, Fighter, tie this to something sturdy so we can climb across. On it, like stink on rice. Um, yeah, okay. Fellows, my keen scout senses I just recently honed alert on to me the presence of a trap most foul. I swear to chaos, if he says lava one more time. Ahead, where the ground is, it truly tisn't. It cannot be! Your words are lies. He's doing it. He wishes to die. He's going to say lava. For you see, someone has cleverly replaced that section of ground with a giant lake of lava. Impossible! The horror! What is wrong with you people? More to the point, what warped mind dreamed of putting lava where the ground ought to be? Yes, who could have foreseen that there'd be lava inside of a volcano? Some sort of madman, I'd say. <laughs> it doesn't strike you as entirely routine that we should run into a lake made of lava, you know, while we're inside a big volcano. Especially after the other four, not including the one we ran into twice because Red Mage... Red Scout! Because Red Moron couldn't find his own star for the detailed map. To wit... X marks the spot. That could mean anything. We can cross this lava lake, but it won't be easy. There's a narrow but easily traversable land bridge off to the side. We'll use that. We'll have to construct some sort of crude suspension bridge using nothing but our wits and a few rocks. Oh, there are obstacles we'll have to overcome. Foremost among them, the sheer impossibility of building a suspension bridge exclusively out of rocks. Land bridge. I won't lie to you. Some of us won't make it to the other side. Look, mine are already crossed. Black Belt and White Mage are halfway there. But I'll carry that weight. I'll see them through to that far shore. It's the least I can do. The things you say make sense to you. 
Or do they just kind of happen independent of whatever cognitive resources you possess, however limited they may be? Their sacrifices shall be so that we may live. We owe it to them to make our lives mean something more. It's the latter, I take it. Yeah, good luck with that. Try not to start it death too soon. I like to think you'll suffer from an unnecessarily prolonged period before dying of your own stupidity. Hey, wait up! We need to decide who the on-site manager is! Okay, there's a group of monsters ahead. Beyond them lies the chamber wherein the orb of fire is contained. How can you be sure? What do you mean? I'm sure of everything I say. Oh, no, you don't, Brain. You stay. Look, we've got this. We can only jump into them with one unified fighting force to do. Thus, they will be taken entirely by surprise, and we shall win the day! Yay, Red Mage! Wow, what a brilliant course of action, Red Mage! But it was my idea. Battle poses, everyone! Maybe it's good! On the count of three, we attack! Count of three, that's so me. Where's Fighter? Hey, monsters, I just want you to know that you're about to get the biggest ambushing of your hideous lives! You and what army, human? Light Warriors! Over there! Changing target? And then an epic battle happens! Stay in formation! Wait, what's happening? Much to the dismay of the Light Warriors! <laughs> wow, Fighter. You don't know how fast screw up, do you? When you gotta do something wrong, you gotta do it. Oh, great one. Oh, holder of the sacred flame. Oh, knower of mysteries. We have run for the mighty sacrifice. You forgot pretty. <laughs> yes, so uh, as Bill was saying, Oh, powerful carry fiend of the eternal flame, we, your loyal monster servants, bring a bounty of adventurers from the caves. Did they fall to the dragon of living flames I summoned from the depths of hell? Rudy? No, I, I don't think so. Then clearly it was my ingenious lava traps, for they were placed where it would be more convenient for there to be ground, but rather it was lava. They didn't seem terribly put out lava-wise, we pretty much did all the work ourselves. <laughs> Really? All we did was finish the job for traps and dragons and stuff. What bunch of jokes, am I right? Seriously, kill these guys ugly stain, of course, and drag them here for you, feast upon, etc, etc. Also, you look lovely stain, for your fight. Sick of it. Minions! Bring the victims to me! Minions! What is taking you so long? Do you wish to experience my eye? Let me assure you, it's no coincidence. It rhymes with fire! Your humble servant wishes permission to speak. It is granted, but know that the terms and conditions of this verbal contract are such that I may change them at any moment without warning. Yes, I am. You were warned! Oh, Carrie, hi. Jeff from Kelly. You met the volcano party last month? You were roasting some of my co workers a lot. You probably don't remember. Well, it's just that as far as minions go, you don't have it. How can this be? I have a host, a legion of foul beasts summoned from the ashes of a thousand evil fires, burning from a thousand evil trees, stolen from the evil forest of Bunnytown. Meanwhile in Bunnytown. I just heard back from the tourism board. We're taking it in the pants. Again. For the love of him and a half, we live in an evil forest. Yes, you had quite a few employees. But then you started killing them indiscriminately. I'm evil! Killing minions for the slightest indiscretion, or nothing at all, is what I do to make sure everyone knows I'm evil! You send postcards for that express purpose. To everyone! I have to make sure no one thinks I'm slacking on this evil kid. I'm a fiend of fire! Killing people with combustion is going to happen! Yes, and it's happened so much you run out of minions to kill. Not yet I haven't. But I'm the only one... Oh. Now to see about that sacrificial bunch. I think she means us. Don't worry about a thing, just follow my lead. Okay, when she opens the bag, just use your ancient elven stealth technique you went to perfection during the years of wandering the countryside as a rogue. Have you went to the black magic family? You know, in lieu of being an elf. I'll lend you my stealth. Like flashing a speed force, it's so stupid it has to work. That's not a remotely sound basis for anything. To let go. Damn it, me. What are you doing? We're escaping? Is that a fact? Well, yes! Uh. You know, cutting off the only means of escape constitutes as a fire safety hazard. Probably doubly so since that's a circle of fire. Ow! Look! 
I haven't killed anything in about three minutes, so my patience is nil at this point. She seems reasonable. Let's reason with her using our reason. Oh, we could choose life over death. It actually is something smart for a change of pace. How are we supposed to do smart things? Just think them up? That's what I do! So, Tiger, I can make lights when I talk. Why is hot? Never die. Good luck, lady. Black Belt, stop it with your violence. With gusto! Yar! Why do they come to me to die? <laughs> Life is funny. You start out with limitless potential, but time is always shaving away the possibilities. Every choice you make is the choice not to do a thousand other things. What's important when all is said and done is that you made a difference. Your choices and everything undone have to mean something, otherwise, what was the point? I'm lucky that way. My path was already there. I had only to walk it. I often thought even if no one knew of the good I had done with my life, it didn't matter. That it was done is all that counts in the end. But then I died. Black belt? And I hadn't gotten to do any of it yet. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. Yar! Why do they come to me to die? Shut up! Sorry, Tuxio! Yo. Yo. How many schools of Zodiac Kinshido are there? It's so obvious now. There aren't any. It's all in here. At least his death wasn't there. He stopped me from venturing out of my volcano to murder everything in my back. I mean, obviously I'm going to go do that now. But he stopped me for nearly a whole minute. Well, you've sure beaten us, Carrie. Nothing left to do but ice! I'm living fire! You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? You know, for a second there, yeah, I kind of did. On the bright side, you'll probably kill you first, so at least I get to watch you die. Not this time, I'm afraid. Black Mage, initiate Plan 9. From outer space? The same. The plan is as simple as it is ingenious, PM. Oh, good, I get a prologue for that. First you take my bag of holding, then the we... The hilarious is the tragic part of all this is the thief. Oh. Oh, dear God. Okay, you stall Carrie while I think. <laughs> Good luck with that. I can make your organs explode with what a thought. Lady, if you weren't trying to kill me, then I'll be on this lady. I'd be on you like blood on my knife. It's been entirely too long since one of you died. <laughs> See, it's not just me. He never dies. Yar! Wait, how many swords is he using anyway? Shut up and think of something while I run the hell away. Hey guys, did I miss anything? Faith, I thought you ran off like the coward you are. And you wouldn't have run for it. Don't change the subject. Anyway, I had some more important business out there. Such as... Only the theft of the orb of fire. My sash! He's not talking about a personal problem. Is he? John, I Silence, fools. The plan must go into effect. You mean the one where we leave by the here, locked in a stale and his arm for? Oh, or the one where we go back to town with a red lady in their sleep? I too, are Sam. No, the one where I cast Ice Knife! Oh, they cupcake. 
I nine. This man is only a theory. It's only come up with good reason. He could freeze everything in the world. That's what the bag of holding is for. Oh good. I'm out of time. I was afraid you could get a can with doom us all. But we have a handbag on our side. My worries are oh, no. Just be careful with this thing. I'll stop all rich things that actually exists. No be preserved, I assure you. What an odd statement. Yet my concerns are put to rest by it. Now, step one, bagger. Well, he's as good as dead. Yeah, he won't be the first. See what I did there? Get a little black belt reference for you. It's funny because he's dead. Seriously though, I'll always carry a piece of black belt with me. Because it won't wash out. Go <laughs> ahead and laugh me. Black mage will never hear you over the war about failure. You are a skilled opponent fighter, I'll grant you that. But you are only mortal. Well, I, Carrie, fiend of the flames, have the strength of an inextinguishable inferno. You're boring me, lady, but there's just one last thing I need from you. Oh? Don't worry, you'll be done in a second. I nine. nine. What the? That's... what did he... where's... Don't worry, Pete. My intellect has thought of everything, even the things it hasn't considered. Especially those things, in fact. We locked Carrie in an escapable prison where she shall remain until such time as we are powerful enough to defeat her. Quite simple. Or, or there's that. Can't breathe. Is it already Arts and Crafts Day? Far from it, or more accurately, yes, but this is unrelated. It's election night, and this is what I like to call the Big Ball. It's a map of Cornelia Castle. Red is for kick-ass Kid Steve, and blue is for the distinguished competition. Gray is for the swing rooms where the vote is too close to call. Sir? First of all, it's mid-afternoon, and as we've discussed, you are a king, and this is a kingdom. Elections of a fever dream of a madman. Are they, Gary? Then explain these exit polls! This... this is last week's cafeteria menu, sir. The mac and cheese lobby will be a significant player in the final outcome. If I may ask, who exactly are you running against? This length of string. I'm afraid he's got a lock on the spaghetti boat. They never support the vertebrae candidate. You're quite mad, sir. No, I don't take it personally. It's just politics, and length of string is a very rousing speaker. You may have excused a weak for our nation. Don't be long. The sorrow from the account is due any moment. Meanwhile, in another hell. So, carry. How's this? Everyone thinks being a hero is great. They never tell you about all the cleanup involved when you're done. What are you talking about? We usually just raise everything to the ground and run away before the authorities can peg it on us. Yeah, but we're doing the cleanup now and it's most important. Unless you enjoy eating black pepper, scorched rocks. Has it occurred to anyone else that this hideout, which is both dangerous and thematically appropriate for the villains who dwell within it, is incredibly unstable? Perhaps significantly more so now that the villain is thwarted. Explain. Example, Magneto in his orbital city base known as Asteroid M. It's held together by his will, so every time he's defeated it crashes into Earth and ironically destroys Genosha or something. Oh, please. One of the odds of a highly volatile volcano would be somehow controlled by a demon of flame. Besides, I don't think Carrie's brain has the capacity to enforce stability on anything. You might think that these events prove me wrong, but I'm willing to be brave enough to chalk them up to coincidence. What are we doing? Paying our respects. Do you have to put it like that? I just lost a fortune in mythical scope. I mean, mourning. Well, look. How long is this going to take? I mean, really, did any of us even like him? His personality was a total ripoff of fighters. Oh, lamentations, the world is sheathed in a darkness like no other. 